I do not care if she has tiny eyes and giant shells. You still shouldn't have kidnapped a mermaid, you idiots. <laughs> Her people are going to be pissed. Y yeah, you may be happy to bring a gun to a banjo fight, but how many banjos until you admit this was a mistake? What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, that game that seems to be having a, a bit of a stroke lately. <laughs> like, when I go to the workshop, best case scenario, I get an error. Worst case scenario, I, I get nothing at all, which makes it really difficult to show you guys new, interesting things each video. But don't worry, because Tabs has us covered, since it inserts hundreds of units that I, I didn't make. It didn't download, I, I've never even seen them before. And if that's not weird enough, I can close the program, then reopen it again, and all those units have changed. It's like, I don't know if I should be calling a, a programmer or a doctor or an exorcist, but like, I, I'm not in control anymore. Tabs is. So we're just gonna be doing whatever the Christ it wants to do today. I guess we're gonna start with the you faction. What that means, your guess is as good as mine. Or better yet, why is it in giant yellow bold letters? Question's probably best left unanswered. All you really need to know is that it's home to a whole bunch of interesting looking units. Like my man Bjorn here, who looks an awful lot like he's built straight out of Norwegian mythology, but sounds like he's built out of Ikea cardboard. I don't think there's really any reason to try to strategize against these units, right? Because we have no idea what they do. You know, he could summon the Valkyries, he could summon Mjolnir and strike these guys down with lightning, he could fire lasers out of his asshole, I don't know. Or he could just be eight feet tall with a couple of paddles and lay down a spanking. That's probably the last thing I would have guessed. I can't imagine a more embarrassing death. You get to Valhalla and they ask you what happened and Oh yeah, I, I got paddled by a guy named after a coffee table. Well, knowing what we know now, what do you think the area of effect is around them? Like, they got this sphere of influence, you think that's just the splash zone? No, that's where you run the risk of getting a paddling? Oh, it makes them charge! They can probably make other units run as well. I decided to put them up against the biggest dump truck of an ass in the game. <laughs> because if they can spank a snuffy, then... I guess they can spank anything. It's like I've always said, Ikea is cheap, but effective. Next up, we've got a unit called Jack, which is odd. I mean, yeah, he does seem to have a bit of a septic eye, but at the same time, he's also got a whole lot of Tyler Ninja Blevins energy. Come to think of it, it could be Jack Frost. So maybe we should fight a fire with fire, or ice with ice in this case, and sent out a, a real big ice mage. She has definitely been eating her Wheaties in the morning. Girl, you are an extra uh, micey age. Micey age? Uh, icy age. Ice, icy mage. <laughs> he froze her and my tongue. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I think a cactus might be our only chance of successfully 1v1ing Ultra Instinct Jack Frost here. <laughs> because yeah, cactuses don't like cold weather, but this one doesn't particularly mind lightning bolts through the sternum? Or surprise icicle enemas? Which is a big plus in this battle. Like, all we gotta do is get in close, grab hold, tickle that pickle, you got this. All those spikes have to be doing something to him, I hope. I should turn on health bars in all reality, but I, I like to be surprised. I like to shout cast these things and judge based off how the fight is going, and the fact that we're alive, that's a big plus to me. We got him from behind. Oh, I don't think he can hit us back here. If we just grab hold of those cheeks good and hard, then we can accomplish anything in life. It's kind of weird that he has an ice bow and lightning bolt. Well, I, I guess it's kind of like he controls storms, that kind of thing. But if that's the case, then my original fight wasn't really as accurate as I had thought it was, because we do want ice mages. 
But that's only half of the equation. We would also need Zeus. And now we've got lightning and ice on both sides of things. Oh, he can deflect. How can he deflect? But he, he, he's got a bow and a bolt. Like, what is he deflecting with? These are the things, there's no way of accounting for that, right? I'm not crazy. I, I've played like 400 hours of this game and there's still just no way to assume these things. Moving on to a bit of a stranger one. This one is called Laris, Laris? I, I, I'm not really sure. I'm not even sure what it is, to be honest. It kind of looks like a wine aunt decided to cosplay as the cat cannon from Battle Cats. Well, I unfortunately don't have any cat units that I could use to make this battle flavorful, but I do have hobbits, and they're pussies, so I think that's kind of close enough. $500 versus $500? Oh, yeah, that's firing the cat cannon. <laughs> it, it charged up like a Super Saiyan. What was that? I don't even want to change anything. I just want to put in a couple more frontline infantry and then slow things down to see what exactly you did. We've seen this like, strange thing that's above her before. It's part of the good faction, but uh, it definitely doesn't do this. Being charged for a really long time. Okay, it's not the Frieza saga. Let's get a move on here. Boom! Oh. Okay, she didn't get one of them. It freezes time. Didn't have time to freeze time the last time around because, uh, you know, they all exploded, but that's pretty sweet. You can freeze little units, but can you freeze big ones? What if we go with some skeleton giants? These things are super janky. I always want to see what happens to them. It only took a little hop. They, they definitely survived for quite a bit longer. She can also throw like ion cannons. She, she's a mix of the 90s in all reality. She's a, a little bit of Dragon Ball Z, a little bit of Command and Conquer, little bit dead, all are applicable. I shouldn't even be trying to make fair fights because like this thing costs just as much as the Bjergen, the, the Bjorgen, the, the meatball in the first thing, the slappy guy. Mr. Spanky Pants, he costs just as much as the time-controlling wine mom. It doesn't make any sense. I'm just gonna have to try something a little bit desperate. Something like the present elf? It's a 5v5. The elf is uh, gonna get fried. Come on! It doesn't matter whether or not you can freeze time. There's plenty of time for presents. We need more present elves. Fortunately, there's no shortage of them, okay? It's June, and in this economy, Santa's not paying any kind of down wages during the off season. So you can fire all your stupid little thingies, and then we get... Oh, the Grim Reaper is just what we needed. You know what? I gotta admit, at first I was a little bit skeptical, but so far Tabs is really providing, like all these units are awesome. This thing is really unique too, because we've seen a lot of Tabs units, but they're always shaped like Tabs units, you know what I mean? They're built like a Gumby, whereas this guy's got like an actual human warrior physique. The only problem is you think he would be called something cool like Tyrion Dragonus, but instead his name is Aaron. Well, knights are typically known for killing dragons, right? Or slaying dragons, and, and maybe killing other knights. So that'd be both halves of Aaron covered. Let's hope that they can do anything. I kind of hope he transforms into a dragon, or just dives in tits first. All right, that's fair enough. Good swing, maybe a little bit too much follow through. You gotta stay on your feet, but if you wanna come out here in full plate mail and, and play home run derby, then that's on you, I suppose. It seems to work well enough. Tab strikes again. You know, I had a dragon for him to fight, but it's disappeared, so I, I guess the best I can do is a pack of velociraptors. They're like little dragons. I would say that they actually do stand a chance. If they can just chomp down on awkward parts of him and not let go like that guy. Come on, you guys got that. That's the plan. He, he's about as flexible as a banking truck, so there's no way he can turn you all into stakes or not. Unfortunately, there's only enough room for one eight foot tall crowned Gumby in tabs. And who do you think it's going to be? I, I would bet it's the king. 
Oh, he fights dirty. He, he can trip people up. He's definitely got some skills. He's going for the legs. He's also got puffy pantaloons and a frilly shirt, which is probably not as effective in battle as a dragon armor. But no, no, there is no but. He's done. We've really got ourselves a bit of an ocean oddball this time. It's called the Kelp Golem, which, fair enough, sure, but like it's only got a little bit of kelp around its head and waist. What is the rest, sand? Or is it just a giant sentient turd? My mama always told me don't punch poop, but I think the boxers would do pretty well here. I just can't imagine how a turd go- I, I, I mean, a, a kelp golem is gonna fare in the boxing ring. We're, we're very well trained. Okay, um, this thing is having a hard time moving around. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm thinking it's supposed to be underwater. Uh, jelly bones are, are not really structurally sound, but we should have worn at the very least, a shirt, I'm feeling like. Those spines are not good. Well, maybe if we can't punch the poop, then we could poach the poop? Uh, not like an egg, though. More so like a, an endangered species, which this thing probably is. Put a whole bunch of poachers on the beach and then hope that its mobility issues play into our strengths? We want to hold distance, which means we shouldn't be walking towards it, idiots. What do you, what do, you do? I know that's... Walking would be a very loose term, but this thing is a very loose stool, so it, it's fitting. Guys, come on, come on. No, that's bad. Are we even hurting it? It's so hard to tell. It's not exactly the most emotive. It, it just kind of throws a couple of spines and then crunch. Are, are we dead? We're, we're, su we're super dead. What, what do we use to kill this thing? Fire? I could probably find fire. I really wish people would take the time to accurately price their units. Because, like, I would assume somebody made this thing, right? Like, Tabs must have just downloaded it without my consent from the workshop. Or maybe they fell out of the matrix, I don't know. But, like, there's just there's no way of me knowing if this is a fair fight, if it's not enough, if it's overkill. Because overkill is never fun. Like, I'm not exactly well versed in how much hellfire is needed to blow torch a deep sea dookie. I'm just doing my best here, make things entertaining, and try not to focus on the logistics of what's happening right now. You know? Like, fire and the poop. This beach has to just be rancid. I do not care if she has tiny eyes and giant shells. You still shouldn't have kidnapped a mermaid, you idiots! <laughs> Her people are gonna be pissed! Y yeah, you may be happy to bring a gun to a banjo fight, but... How many banjos until you admit this was a mistake? Why did I have to go with the name Captain Sauce? Honestly, I could have chosen any name that wouldn't result with me being in charge of this crew. I didn't even do this. I didn't get to have any fish fun. <laughs> now I need to get us out of trouble. We got all the flintlock pistols. We can also get uh, some blunder bussies. Uh, bomb throwers would probably help. And you know what? I'm delegating. He's the captain now. He's going to be the one responsible for the charge. And probably the one to reap the rewards of victory. Or not. Um. What? just happened. We got a few of them. They're not bulletproof. We did turn a couple into tofu, but I don't get it. You know what? The three dipshits who got us into trouble in the first place can go out and act as test dummies. We got to figure out what's going on here. They can be hurt, but it's not easy, and they seem to, um, hump, for a lack of better words. <laughs> like, that guy definitely just got fish humped to death. These ones, however, I, I don't know what's going on with, like, the strange ocean spray. It, it's a little gross. You know, desperate times call for desperate measures. Fortunately, we packed a smaller ship on our main ship. We've got the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> Let's see if he can pull off anything. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I, I made a sushi joke earlier. No, I made a tofu joke earlier trying to make a sushi joke. <laughs> that only just registered in my brain. Wow, okay, we, we are like minutes behind. It is so hot in this room, guys. I, I'm honestly just frying like tofu. 
can we maybe see that again and get back on target? So the Flying Dutchman can um, penetrate, to put it nicely. It also has like some kind of inky cannon shot and can do a kick flip and it's just like the coolest unit that I've seen today. How did you swap out your banjo for legs? Are they evolving right now? That's really concerning. I think we should kill that one first. It's hard to strategize with all the weird tab side boob that's happening right now, but I, I think I've got a plan. The Flying Dutchman was effective, but it's a little bit busy right now, so we called in another favor from Davy Jones and got Captain Sauce Witch Horn. <laughs> Which is having a bit of a hard time balancing on a broom. Fair enough. In all reality, they have a hard time balancing on land as well. These wobbly witches should hopefully be able to cast a spell on our merfolk. Or, uh, multiply. Who's screaming like people right now? I really hope it's not the horses. The horse is lost, come on. It's not every day a random unit appears on my computer with my name on it. I was kind of hoping for better. Maybe we just need to back them up with some light bulb men? I don't know what a light bulb man is. I mean, it, it's kind of like self-explanatory, it would seem. Yeah, they, they throw, actually they don't throw fire, they throw electricity. Weird, but not electricity like lightning bolts. Electricity like AC, DC amperage is weird. <laughs> the horses, they were the frontline infantry this time. And you know what? They did a fantastic job at it. The pirates are cowering in their ship right now. Like what the Christ is happening out there? Part of me wants to say that this video is really coming off the rails, but considering we just had upside down witch horses face off against mermaids with legs, I, I, I think that's already long past. We've got Minecraft Steve and Naruto, and you know what, I'm just gonna have them face off against an M1 Abrams tank. We're, we're not pussyfooting around this time, we are, oh boy. Gonna send him funny running off the edge of the map, see you later. Steve is, uh, Steve is doing something. What's with the balloons? Oh, that wasn't the tank, was it? Maybe it was Naruto? Wait, what the hell? Steve took out the tank. What? How? I guess we'll just chalk that one up to the fact that he's wearing diamond armor. Like, I would love to make a whole bunch of funny Naruto references right now, but I've never seen it in my life. All I know is that a bunch of weird people like to storm Area 51 running like whatever this guy is. So I, I, I'm just gonna try to freeze him in place. We got ice mages, we've got archers, and oh my God, he actually does run. Is he frozen solid? We're solid enough? He's dead. Okay, great. How about you? You you dead? You're still... Like, he, he grabs hold of people and then he has balloons. He can fly up and then like power bombs back down. I don't get it. I mean, it's clearly working out for him. He killed a tank and the entire ice nation. That's Avatar. Oh, that's not even Avatar. That's not a thing anywhere, is it? I'm not a weeb. I'm sorry. We're gonna ditch Naruto for a second and just go with Minecraft Steve because I really wanna know if a ballista can penetrate diamond armor. You would think that the God Killer can penetrate just about anything, but he's really slow if you could fire any day now. Okay. He did a front flip over you. Like, <laughs> it's insult to injury. I hate this guy. I don't care if this is an unfair advantage to the Ballista, we gotta move him back, like way back. We need time to wind up. Oh, it's Steve Imposter. Whatever that means. Should I know what that means? Is it like a, an Among Us thing? Oh, either way, it doesn't matter. There, there's an Imposter Among Us. <laughs> and uh, he's looking pretty sussy, there we go. That's the good stuff. I swear, every time I get games like this, I just feel like such a boomer. I need to take out my frustrations on them. Okay, come on now. I may be old, but I I'm not Napoleon riding an elephant old. Do you think we'd be able to fit a lasso around a pachyderm's pooper? Probably not. Like, if we could grab the tusks or, or I, I don't know, like the, the, the trunk, or maybe that lawn chair that Napoleon's on, or Napoleon because he's shooting and bombing us. 
because you can't treat this like you're facing off against a random cow is running down the highway. You, you gotta, here we go. Okay, yes, he's, he's off. So you could just take a bomb square to the chest. Okay, that's not what we want. Oh, for a second, I thought we were gonna get him and then run off the edge. I'm fine with self-sacrifice, but evidently no dice. Did we at least get the elephant? No, he's, he's just taking a nap. The elephants are such interesting units in this game because their size makes me wonder if anything is effective against them. Like, can you kick an elephant? Taekwondo, is that really effective? It, it's hand to hand, not hand to tusk. It, it's just, I get the feeling you guys are gonna get turned into jam. Did any of them throw a kick? Honestly, I don't think a single kick was thrown. <laughs> so stupid, this shouldn't have been a fair fight. I, I, I hate you. You know what, I've had enough. This means war. We're gonna try the bomb cannon, a unit that I have not used in a very long time. If we fire enough bombs, then... Is he dead? He's face down in the flowers. I, I want to assume that means he's dead. He's definitely dead. Okay, so just uh, just kill the elephant and we can all blow ourselves up. You have got to be kidding me. Back it up, no. just back. Oh boy, yeah, you know what? That's it for the day. All right, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. I would love to ask you guys to leave comments with recommendations for stuff that I can do with these units, but in all reality, as soon as I close this game, they might not be here anymore. I honestly have no idea what is going on with tabs, and it's really frustrating because when I have no control over the game, I have no control over the videos, and sometimes it can lead to fun times like we had today, and other times it means that I, I just can't record anything because nothing works. If anybody has any idea what's going on, please let me know. I would love to make more. Leave a like, leave a comment, that kind of stuff, and maybe I'll return with more elephant riding presidents soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.